Hey, welcome back Air Gunners to another edition of the Air Gun Advisor. And today I just wanted to walk you through the simplest and fastest scope leveling system I have found. Before I've used the method of hanging a string from a high object and allowing gravity to show me where that level mark is. I've also used bubble levels to make sure that the, the breach is level with the scope and so forth. But they just take too much time, especially when you're reviewing a lot of rifles and you're just never quite sure if you got it right. So the other day I picked up this Arisaka leveling system. It was less than 50 bucks online. I'll put a link down to the bottom of it. Uh, I'm not being promoted by this company at all. It's just one that I found that I think that a lot of air gunners like myself could benefit from. So I uh, went ahead and mounted my Eagle Vision scope mounts, adjustable scope mounts, which I've been using now for a little while and leveled this scope out. And before I go further, I also want to mention that it is also the same scope leveling system that I used on the Daystate Huntsman Revere that you probably saw a review on not too long ago. So without further ado, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the process. You let me know what you think. Is it easy? Is it simple? Is it gonna be accurate? I found it to be yes on all of those questions, but I still wanna hear what you have to say. So without further ado, let's check out the process. All right, guys, right here you can see the scope is loosely held within the, uh, the mounts there, those Eagle Vision mounts that I have. And I go ahead and take that bottom plate there and set it right there on top of the breech where the Picatinny rail is. And then I go ahead and slowly insert that wedge. And I use the larger wedge here because it is some high scope mounts. And you can see that, that wedge just goes ahead and goes right underneath the flat spot of the scope. And when you get it in there, you wedge it in there slowly, rotate the scope until it lies flat on the wedge, and then you have it perfectly level to the breech. Now I go ahead and keep that wedge in there. That way you have no movement. And this is really nice because as you tighten the screws down, at least on the other methods I've used, I always seem to get just a little bit of movement in the scope. And I keep that wedge in there, tighten the screws down. And once they're all tight, go ahead and remove the wedge and you're done and you're ready for the range. Whoa, you guys are done already? Hey, that's just how easy and how fast this process really is. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm not sponsored by this company at all. It's just one that I think is really good and can help a lot of air gunners out just like myself. Guys, if you have not watched the Daystate review, uh, review yet, make sure you check that out. Also keep an eye open for this raw HM1000X review coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Can't wait to get that in front of you. But until next time, may your trigger pull stay smooth, your pellets fly straight, and we'll see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.